Hi guys, it's Mr. Dave with Ray Kitty Creation Workshop, and I want to tell you why a science fair is so important and why a science fair is so important to me, and I really think you need to get your students into a science fair. One, a science fair is bigger than just science, right? A science fair isn't just about um, knowing all of the scientific concepts and principles. A science fair is about your student developing a problem or a question uh, and being able to come up with reasoning and answering for that question. Now, if that question is science as in, okay, will um, this butterfly be able to do this if I do this and if it's exposed to this? Sure, that's great, that's awesome. That's what science fairs are about. But a science fair is also about other things, other interests your student might have. What if your kid loves music? Uh, you can say, okay, well, will playing music to my plants uh, cause them to grow better. Now, if it were me singing to my plant, I would have to get new plants. But uh, that question cannot, you know, doesn't have to be a, um, well, is it scientific? No, that question can be anything because it's a matter of developing that question, having an idea or a theory or a hypothesis on what the answer is going to be, and then running tests to find out if you're correct. Now, like I say, maybe it's art. Maybe you're like, okay, does my dog prefer this type of art to this type of art? Hmm, who knows? Maybe you should figure that out. And the way to figure that out is to develop that question, uh, to develop a hypothesis. I think my dog is really going to prefer Picasso. I don't know. I have a cat. I, I Ray Kitty, I have a cat. But um, cats hate art because they hate everything. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I love my cat. But that developing that problem, that finding that question is a huge step and it doesn't have to be, does this chemical do something with this chemical? That can be about anything. What if your student says, hey, I wonder if a uh, 16 stud Lego uh, is going to stack higher than a four stud Lego. So if I have a stack of uh, 16 stud Lego here and four stud Lego here is one more stable than the other, why do I think one's going to be more stable? Let's find out and then finding out. Now, what if you develop this wonderful question and you your hypothesis or your theory is incorrect? That's part of the beauty of a science fair. That's part of a be the beauty of science in general. Science isn't knowing something. Science is finding out. So if you find out or your student finds out that they're incorrect about something, that's really the beauty of it because they can say, okay, well, I thought this was this, but the data, the tests show that this is actually something else. And that's that student being able to say, hey, my idea, my theory came up with uh, a different conclusion than what I was thinking it would come up with and being able to understand that and then maybe being able to say, okay, well, what were some of the variables? What were some of the things that may have made it different than what I was thinking? Uh, and that's okay that it ends up different than what I was thinking. That's one of the huge things that they can learn as far as a life lesson. Um, me, as an adult, as an old guy, uh, not everything I think is correct. Now that's hard to say uh, because, well, whew, I'm an adult and of course adults are always right. No, students can find out, hey, my idea can come up with a different conclusion than I was expecting and I'm still learning from it. I can grow from the fact that I was uh, incorrect in my theory or hypothesis. That's another reason science fairs are so important. A science fair is a challenge. A science fair is um, something that you have to put some thought into. You have to come up with an end result, an end project. That's life. That is a life skill. That is saying, hey, I have a deadline. Uh, I have to have my science fair put together, done by this deadline. Now, what if I want to test something that takes a week to test? I can't start the day before, right? If I want to know how fast my plants are going to grow and I start on Saturday and the science fair is on Monday, eh, probably not a growth, a lot of growth in those two days. So a science fair shows a student how to set a deadline and how to say, okay, I have to have these steps done in order to achieve my goal by this deadline. 
That's life. Adults, we know this. We are up against deadlines all the time, whether it's at work, whether it's with paying our bills, whether it's whatever it is, we are up against deadlines all the time. And to show your child the importance of a deadline and the importance of being able to achieve that goal in time is so valuable, so important. So these are just a couple reasons that a science fair is bigger than just science. A science fair can be art, it can be music, it can be friendship, it can be a social experiment. All of these things uh, that are so big can be used and thought of and wrapped up in a science fair. So you say, okay, well, all of these crazy thoughts that my kid is always asking me, why does this happen? Why does this do this? Why is this like this? Figure it out. That'll show the student, hey, okay, well, what do I need in order to answer my questions? Uh, and uh, what happens if my questions are, are not the answer I was expecting? Or um, what happens if they are the answer I was expecting? How can I go deeper into that? And you get all of that in a trifold board, okay? Now, <laughs> science fair does not always have to be a trifold board, but that's what we picture when we picture science fair. You can really take it to so many different levels. That's just kind of the classic. You've got your, your problem, your, uh, your way that you solve that problem, and your conclusion. All those things. Sure, that's science fair, but uh, it can be more than that also. Okay? So, I just want to tell you guys why I think a science fair is so important and why you really, really, really need to get your students into a science fair because it can help you Teach them how to want to learn, how to want to draw those conclusions. All right, I'm Mr. Dave with Ray Kitty Creation Workshop. Uh, don't forget, science shows you matter.